Okay, under AS, but not quite the same hemodynamics, would be the hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy or HOKUM. Other term, idiopathic hypertrophic subaortic stenosis or IHSS or asymmetric septal hypertrophy. Why? Ang, ang problem actually nito is the um, hypertrophy ng LVOT dun sa may IVS sa LVOT. At ang problem dito is yung systolic anterior motion then ng mitral, anterior mitral valve. So the problem with HOCOM is the normal alignment of muscles is disrupted when nagkakaroon ng myocardial disarray. It also causes disruption of the electrical functions of the heart. Therefore, they are more prone to arrhythmia. Incidents point to 2.5% of the general population. What's peculiar with HOCOM as compared to AS is that its outflow obstruction is dynamic. It's dependent on the LV volume. So depending on the volume of LV, it gets to be higher or lower in gradient. I will show you that as we review the tracings. Okay, this is a tracing. Initially, the catheter tip is at the LV, and then they pulled it back further to the heart. Dito, nung nasa apex pa siya, notice the systolic pressure is 240. And uh, as a catheter, the catheter you would notice the very fall of the systolic pressure from 240 to about 120. But notice the waveform is still ventricular. Okay, in the pasinyo, yun, yun diastolic niya pareho pa rin. And the waveform is still ventricular. Kasi by this time, dapat memorize niyo yun yung waveform ng atria, ng aorta, ng LV. Ayan, okay? So, dun pa lang, mapapansin mo na may gradient na. So, it would make you suspect that there's a gradient dun pa lang sa LVOT. Tapos, as we pull the catheter further back, papunta ng aorta, dito pa lang lumabas yung aortic pressure. Mer um, there's equal... Uh, systolic pressure of the tracings here and the tracings here, which means wala kang valvar stenosis, okay? But you would notice na sa aorta ka na sa iba na tracing, aortic na yung tracing, systemic na. Oh, okay. Also, note the pulsus bisperience, the spike and dome. Um, alam, natatandaan nyo ba kung paano nagkakaroon ng spike and dome? Diba, as it contracts, um, as it contracts kasi magkakaroon yun ng samim, makakatak yung, yung anterior mitral valve, so gaganyan na yan. Doon pa lang may obstruction na, kaya bababa siya. As it contracts further, marirelease yun, kaya magkakaroon ka ng second na ganon. Uh, is this specific for hokum, ang experience? Ano pang tracing, ang, ano pang valve pathology ang may experience? AR. AR, severe AR. Okay, mamaya makikita nyo rin yan sa AR. Oh, ito ulit. Another sample. Um, there's just a pullback from the LV apex to the LVOT to the aorta. And yun pa rin, oh, yung spike and dome. Pero hindi ko yun nafe-feel sa PE. Di ba sa, sa PE nafe-feel daw yan? Hindi ko nafe-feel. Pero may PE, sinasabi nila yan, may ganun. Pero sa, sa exam, may ganun. Pero so, may hirap i-feel. Okay, this one, this is another tracing from the LV, LVOT, aorta, medyo parang konti ng gradient, no? If you are not sure, let's say masyadong konti yung gradient, ano ang pwedeng maneuver na gawin nyo para ma... Para mas, uh, kasi di ba, sabi ko, it's, it's dynamic. The obstruction na po is dynamic. So, ano yung mga maneuvers para mas ma-elicit niyo yung gradient? Valsalva. What else? Since you have the catheter, ikon mo ng konti. Para mag-PVDs. Okay. And that, you would then elicit the Brockenbrill Brondle Morrow sign. This is... When you have a PVD, there would be a compensatory pause, and eventually, the next good QRS would result into such. Okay, a PVD followed by your normal QRS. And there is actually, you notice, there is an increase of the LV pressure. Okay, and then there is a decrease of the aortic pressure, such that you would have higher gradient as compared to the other um, tracings or the other beats. 
So ito yung ito yung yung hukom which is ano pag meron ka nito hukom to hindi siya AS. Kasi pag titingnan mo to, pag titingnan mo to mukha din siyang AS, di ba? So ito pag nailicit mo yan ay hukom to. Bakit? Kasi sa aortic stenosis, kung inilicit mo yung ano yung PVD, what happens is it it increase it either stays the same or kung may increase man konti lang at kung mag-increase man yung LV pressure magi increase din yung aortic pressure so sasama siya in effect yung gradient mo pareho pa rin okay so yun yung difference niya hukom bababa ang aortic pressure tataas ang LV pressure so aortic stenosis pareho pa rin um medyo nagtatagal yung ano ko alam niyo na to yung yung physical exam mas common ang ang murmur ng AI sa aortic stenosis. Ah, uh, ito yung pulse pressure, it's decrease sa hukom, increased ang ang pulse pressure sa aortic stenosis. Tapos ito yung pag may valsalva maneuver ka, mas increased ang intensity ng murmur sa hukom, tapos decrease sa aortic stenosis and the rest. Kasi medyo mahaba pa to. <laughs> this is this just to show you the um a balloon at the aortic valve level. So it's angi angiographic. And you would notice a decrease in the gradient. It's the pre, the post. Oh, my child, Natalia. <laughs>